So your kid swore at you. Positive punishment means you add something aversive. You hit them. Negative punishment is decreasing the likelihood that they'll swear again because that's what the term punishment means, but it means we're taking away something that they want. So you can add something they don't want or take away something they do want. Positive punishment is when you add something they don't want, avoid it, avoid it. If you add something aversive, guess what? You're increasing negative affect, you're increasing the crappy feelings between the two of you, and you're increasing their sense of victimization and traumatization. If you take away something that they want, something that they've liked, um, I avoid that whenever possible. I'd rather dangle a carrot in front of them. Hey, I heard you swear. I know you have better words for that. Instead of the word that you chose to use, let's come up with other words that you might be able to use. Okay, those are all permitted for me. So in the future, when I see you get upset, if you use one of those better choice words, that's awesome. You're going to earn whatever, extra time on your iPad, or you're going to earn. So the first infraction or the first time your child does something that you're not real fond of, I just call them out on it, depending on what it is, you know, how extreme it is. I was talking to somebody the other day who said, Dr. Chase, I, I have had to fix seven holes in my walls in the last two weeks. Okay, so a situation like that, your child is putting holes in your wall, your child is cutting, your child is doing things that create uh, damage, then you set a boundary. You are angry and I completely understand that you're angry. So you validate the emotion, but the behavior that I see as a result of that emotion needs to stop. But I'm saying simplify your language. So here's how it goes. Hey, I get it. You're pretty stressed out right now. And you may not put holes in the wall. So the word and is a better bridge. If you say but, you're basically saying everything I just said I didn't really mean. So it sounds like this. I get it. You're really stressed out. Anything I can do to help you with being stressed out, please let me know. And we have to find a better way for you to care or to, to share when you're angry. Putting holes in the wall is not allowed. So do you hit them for putting a hole in the wall? Absolutely not. Do you take away privileges of driving the car this weekend? Perhaps, but I think a better result is you teach them something to do instead, you validate the feeling, and then you make them fix it.